if the SAP GUI is installed on your computer, there will be an icon on your desktop. Double clicking this icon will start the SAP logon pad. In case you do not have the SAP GUI, please point your browser to this link to watch a detailed video on how to install the SAP GUI. Before you log on for the first time, your system administrator will give you an initial password. During the logon process, you should create a new password, known only to you. After that, you use your own password whenever you log on. After you have started the SAP system, the first screen you see is the logon screen. When you choose the tab key on your keyboard after you have entered data in a field, the cursor automatically moves to the beginning of the next field. Enter the client number in the client field. If a default client number appears in the field, you can either accept it or change it by typing over it. To move the cursor to the user field, choose the tab key on your keyboard. Enter your user ID in the user field. To move the cursor to the password field, choose the tab key on your keyboard again. Enter the initial password provided by your system administrator in the password field. As you type the initial password, the asterisks remain in the field and only the cursor moves. As a security measure, the system does not display what you type. In the SAP system, prior to ECC 6 version, passwords are not case sensitive. In ECC 6 and newer versions, password is case sensitive. To display screens, menus, and fields in another language, move the cursor to the language field by pressing the tab key on your keyboard. Enter the language key for the desired language. Choose Enter. The system automatically displays the new password dialog box. You must change your initial password. If you do not see the new password dialog box, check the status bar for a system message. You may have entered an incorrect client password or user ID. If this is the case, repeat the above steps. In the new password field, enter a new password. As you type the new password, the asterisks remain in the field and only the cursor moves. As a security measure, the system does not display what you type. To move the cursor to the repeat password field, choose the tab key on your keyboard again. In the repeat password field, enter the new password again exactly as you entered it the first time. Choose confirm. If you have successfully changed your password, the copyright dialog box will appear. In the copyright dialog box, choose continue. If there are system-wide messages, the system message dialog box appears. After you have read the messages, choose continue or enter on your keyboard to close the dialog box. You can log off from the SAP system from any screen. From the menu bar, choose System and then log off. Click the button at the upper right hand corner of the screen if you only have one session running. The log off dialog box appears. It informs you that any data you have not yet saved will be lost if you proceed with logging off. If you are not certain that you have saved all of your data and you do not want to log off after all, choose no. You return to the screen in which you were working. If you are certain 
that you have saved all of the data and you do want to log off then choose yes all of your SAP system sessions close you have successfully logged off